I'm Zoe Sheridan on a beautiful Sydney day, sitting on the red couch with the gorgeous Mel Simons, who everyone knows because she's had such a long-lasting career in the media, starting as a child in Totally Wild. And now you've just done an amazing job that I want to talk about, which is going to entertain the troops in Afghanistan. So was it 10 days? Yeah, so a week ago we came back. Oh, so and you've only just arrived back. How just are you arrived feeling? Back and well, to be honest, uh, we've been a little bit down since we got back. The reason being that the trip was so incredibly exciting. It was, I've been on location, as you said, since mm. I was a kid. And this was without a doubt the most exciting, incredible experience I've ever had. And I would go back in a second. The Defence Force is so great in that they're always making sure you're feeling safe and you're yeah. briefed before you do absolutely everything. They wouldn't put us into a situation that was that was terribly dangerous, but you are in a dangerous country, and mm. so you're flying over dangerous ground, and they're in dusty, hot, arid conditions, and it's so, it, I mean, it really is so hot, and it's yeah. so dusty, it's, it's you know, it gets up to 50 degrees at times. And but you're not wearing a bikini and a sarong. No, no. you're wearing bulletproof vests often, wow. really heavy stuff, and, and yeah, I just... I can't believe the job they do. But also the other thing that really surprised me was, even in the Hercules, was going up to the cockpit and meeting the pilot and co-pilot who were kids. They're not kids, but they but, look like... Yeah, 18 you know, year they're young guys who are good looking and personable and intelligent and uh, courageous and brave and they all keep the best spirits about them at all times and the camaraderie is, is astounding. Mm. They're always looking out for each other and... So there's this really, f this feeling of community and, and family and, and yeah, and they're doing all of this going to work in a war zone every day. Uh, I met an amazing corporal that was giving us all of our uh, bulletproof vests and all of the things that we were mm. wearing for safety over there and, you know, she's away from her child for eight months at a time, who's wow. seven years old and oh, uh, these, these people are giving up so much for us. Yeah, I can't imagine that. You know, that just broke my heart thinking of a seven-year-old and her yeah. mum's away for yeah. eight months. It's just, oh my God. I know. You know, a lot of very prominent people have gone and, and done things like that overseas, like Kylie Minogue and, um, gosh, you know, Bob Mar Hope and, you Marilyn? Know. Did you wear sexy Marilyn dress? Haha! <laughs> I wore nice little frocks that were tasteful. Did they love it? They did. In Tarrancourt, the troops were saying, please wear heels because we just haven't <laughs> seen a pair of heels in so long. You know? <laughs> and I thought, oh, I wouldn't wear, you know, I'd dress up in Sydney. I've come all this way. Yeah. As well. they, were, they were very respectful, though. But there are obviously, you know, a they're seeing everyone in uniform all the time and it's just, it's a piece of home, but... It's so true and it gives you a bigger perspective. You realise the things that really do matter, so it's a really good reminder of that. So thank you for reminding us. Yeah, thank you so of what reminds us and... <laughs> it's good to be back on safe locations. <laughs> thank you so much, Mel Simon. You are a legend.